escape rooms. Now there's literally thousands throughout the country. If you haven't done one, it's where you and a group of people are trapped in a room or a series of rooms and you have to solve a mystery. I'm out. They're, <laughs> they're so much fun. He's already out before it even starts. At least Kayla's lasts for like 30 seconds. I'll right. give it a try. I haven't done it yet, though. But it's great for families, friends, and coworkers even use it for team building. Now, we had a chance as a Living Oklahoma team to experience one of the top escape rooms in the world, what? which is right here in Oklahoma City. It's called the Sanctuary. You got to check it out. I am at one of my favorite places, the Sanctuary, the best escape room I've ever been to. And thank goodness the owners are allowing me to go behind the scenes. Thank you guys so much for letting us be here. Absolutely, it's a pleasure to have you. So what put this idea all together? We started out as a haunted attraction and what, do, what is the conundrum of a seasonal business owner? What do you do with the building for the rest of the year? Escape rooms were starting to kind of come into the U.S. in around 2014, 2015 era, and uh, we kind of delve into it. And uh, this is kind of the culmination of, what, eight years now? How do you come up with the ideas for all of these? Oh, man, it starts off with a story, you know, what we want the players to have to go through. And then from there, it's like, let's just create this world and throw the puzzles in there and just make everything go together. And we're our own worst critics, I'm going to tell you that right now. We come up with really good ideas and we tear down our really good ideas, you know, uh, just because we the, of the players. The players expect a lot out of us and the brand, so we, we have to live up to it. The quality we're trying to achieve is, you know, we are a universal uh, Disney quality escape room here in Oklahoma, and we will poke holes in everything, whether it be the story, the set design, puzzles, puzzle flow. Everything's got to be perfect before we even release it to anybody. Is it a fine line between having the clues too easy and too impossible? We don't want anybody just to barrel through these games. you got to give them their money's worth, obviously, right? So if you're in there for an hour or an hour and a half, depending on the game itself, we're gonna give them everything and the kitchen sink. But what we're trying to create in these, you know, in-depth stories is a world and an adventure. So when they're coming into these games, they're, it's apparent that they've left Oklahoma and entered our world and, you know, left their reality and entered our reality, you know, into these games. We wanna bring people in from the moment they enter the front doors in here. We wanna take them out of their reality, put them in ours, start telling a story and you know, when people walk in every single group they start to look up and they start to go feeling very small <laughs> and but we the compliment we always get is like man if your game if your room is like this the lobby where we sit what are the games like and it's like well buckle up you're about to find out it's, it's a ton of fun and it's not just an escape room you're award-winning <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the Seat of Hope and the Dutchman just received recognition as one of the best escape rooms, not only in the, in the country, but got, uh, the Seat of Hope got a nomination for one of the best in the world. This past weekend, we had a group of people come in. They, between the four of them, they had over 2,000 games under their belt, and these people play around the world. They played, they played all three of their games. They loved it. But they all said the same thing about Seed of Hope. They said, you guys did something in there that out of the 2,000 plus games we have played, we have not seen before. So I looked at him and I said, dude, we've just got to start flexing more. And, you know, that's where we're at. You know, we, we got a lot of out-of-towners coming in spring break and in the summertime that are taking on these games from around the country that are flying in to play because they want to see, are we legit? But I think we are. I think it's time. This place is so incredible. The Sanctuary has three amazing rooms. Make sure you check all of them out. I guarantee they're gonna put your skills to the test. I got a question. Yes. Um, I, I, I was at a meeting, so I couldn't make this. Huh. Kayla? I, I saw her there. briefly, but what happened to you? Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I don't do scary, and it was so immersive. They did such a good job staging everything. Mm -hmm. It was too much for me, and I had to bow out. But they do have two other rooms yes. that aren't scary, and they are immersive as well, so everyone should go and check them out. Now, how long did you last in the room? Um, maybe about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this scream, and she's taken off running. But how, how long did it take y'all to get through the escape room? Hour and 45 minutes. Okay. How long is it supposed <laughs> to take you to get through the escape room? Hour and 15 minutes. Okay. So an extra half an hour. That means it's really good. So if you have yeah, a chance, make sure to go check it out. And where is it again? 
Yeah, Sanctuary, uh, it's on I-40 in Oklahoma City, and we were down a person, that's why it took longer. It's by the outlet malls in OKC. There we go, we we'll appreciate you guys for hanging out with us on Hump Day. Tomorrow is Weekend Explorer at one of Oklahoma State's parks, and it's National Chili Day. Mm, I'm excited. Woo. Who's cooking it? Me. You gonna cook chili? That's it. I'm bringing the toast. Oh, I'm hungry. We appreciate All right. y'all, we'll see you tomorrow for Kayla's Oklahoma. making chili for everybody, every viewer. I got no. the pepper.